Please help support the channel by visiting our Amazon store, affiliate link below. This is what I'm looking forward to here. This is what I want. I'm looking forward to this year. At Wheel of Time, fantasy drama, NAB series order. Now, if you don't know about Wheel of Time, whole, whole lower child, whole, sit down, pull up a book, 14 if I recall correctly, and get ready to dive into a very meticulously detailed world that, uh, that will suck you in and then lose you about three or four times along the way and then suck you in again and then lose you again and then and then and then Robert Jordan died and then the other dude picked it up and then you finish it up now i haven't finished the series to be honest with you but if they're going to do this as a tv show this is going to be like this is going to be like a, a fucking like at least 10 series 10 season show right and it's going to cost a lot of money but Amazon, Amazon wants the Game of Thrones. So they're doing with Lord of the Rings. Now they're doing with Wheel of Time. So it says here, the long gestating TV show based on Robert Jordan's epic, The Wheel of Time novels, is now a go at Amazon. The streamer confirmed on Tuesday that it has ordered a one-hour action fantasy uh, action fantasy to series with Sony Pictures TV co-producing and Rafe Judkins from Agents of Shields, who adapted the books for TV, serving as showrunner. I'm not too sure how Rafe or Raph is Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, I, I'm not, was he a producer on that? Or just, uh, just wrote scripts? I'm not too sure. Uh, so so they've ordered a one hour, <laughs> a one hour uh, at, a, at a, you know, adaptation, fine. So it's going to be one hour episodes, at least 10 episodes. For the first couple books, the first four books, it's not going to be a problem. They're going to have to really condense the the, the later ones. Um, and it's going to be a lot of stuff. I mean, you know, especially as the groups separate and, and as you meet the new characters and other ones go away for a while, it's going to be very interesting to see how it works with actor schedules, uh, especially if they want to do a very, uh, loyal adaptation. And if they fuck around with wheel of time, if they do anything like that wheel of time, you know, for a fact, fans are going to revolt. All right. You know, pissed off Lord of the Rings fans. When you start talking about the movies versus the book. Jump into a Robert Jordan discussion. I'm never doing that again. I don't have enough beer in the world to survive those, those arguments again because of how intricate and detailed this world is. It, I'm not even kidding you. Now, spanning 14 volumes, the Wheel of Time series has sold more than 90 million copies internationally, making it the biggest selling fan fantasy series since Lord of the Rings. Uh, set in a sprawling world where magic exists but can only be used by women, the story follows Moraine, a member of a shadowy and influential all-female organi organization known as the Aes Sedai. As she embarks on a dangerous journey with five young men and women, Moraine's interest in these five lives uh, in these five lies in the fact that she believes one of them might be the reincarnation of an incredibly uh, powerful individual who prophecies say will either save humanity or destroy it. And that's 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 Rand Rand Althor. All right, like not even, I don't even know why they're fucking, why? Oh, it could be any, it's Rand. It was the main character from the beginning. It's always Rand. But of course you get into Matt. My boy, troublemaker. Uh, it's a, yeah, I, I, I'm very much actually looking forward to Moraine and Lan's relationship because whoever comes in on that one is going to have to be like, it is a very stoic but loving character, and uh, whoever's going to play Tom, the bard, I mean, or Ming, or like, I don't even know, man. It's been so long since I've even read the first couple books, but they're good. And oh, I can't wait to see them do a Trollic. That's going to be dope. <laughs> it's, it's, it's good. It's a good series. You haven't seen it yet. Uh, so <laughs> the series draws, uh, numerous elements of European and Asian culture, philosophy, and most notably, uh, cyclical nature of time found in Buddhism and Hinduism. Uh, Wizard of, uh, the Wheel of Time is endlessly fascinating. It resonates hugely with fans as one of the best selling global books franchises. And we're drawn to its timely narrative featuring powerful women at the core. This is Jennifer uh, Salk, the head of Amazon Studios, speaking in London at the Amazon Prime Video Showcase. Uh, we're thrilled to extend our relationship with uh, devotees who found the book series transformative and welcome new ones by bringing it to life for Prime Video viewers worldwide. Uh, now, they are going to push this as being a female-led thing because the Aes Sedai is going to play a very large part in this. Uh, Moraine is going to be the lead character, even though it's going to be it's in the books. It's Rand, but whatever. I'm not going to argue on that one. I mean, having this story come from Moraine's perspective, 
uh, is going to be interesting, but they really are going to have to treat it like it's separate journeys that do kind of come back together at certain times because everyone gets separated and everyone goes on a different, different epic and they end up in the same place sometimes or they just, they just miss each other. Uh, it's, it's crazy stuff. Now, it says here, added from Sharon Tal Yugato, head of event series at Amazon Original, saying developing and producing Robert Jordan's beloved 14 book series for TV is a big undertaking, and we don't take it lightly. We believe that Rafe's personal connection to the material and soulful writing will resonate with the book's passionate fans. Now, here's the thing. If, if they're going full on, if they're going full on 14 books, we're talking that's at least 14 seasons. Right. I mean, book 10 is like literally takes place throughout the course of one day and it, it's told from the perspective of all the characters. And by the way, there there are a lot. You will need to keep a journal. To remember all of their names. If you have to do if you have to really remember in the book, the, fir, the, fir, when, the first book I bought uh, Wheel of Time, there is literally an encyclopedia in the back. Right. There are a lexicon in the back of the book so you can remember who everything is like, oh, who the fuck is this character? Mm-hmm. Oh, OK. Little description. Okay, cool. I now kind of remember. That is how intricate and detailed this series is. So how I don't know how much money they're gonna throw at it. I don't know how much money they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna give to it. I have no idea how any of it's gonna go. But what I do know is that I'm in. I'm more into this than them doing the Lord of the Rings series because I at least know this adaptation. Lord of the Rings is gonna be making up some shit, which again is fine with me. They're dropping a billion dollars on that franchise, they're gonna drop more than a billion on this guaranteed but they've solidified the two top fantasy franchises this is a subtle fuck you to hbo this is that this is a middle finger pew pew to hbo and uh and hbo is like we got game of thrones prequels yeah yeah look as much as i love game of thrones it does not compare compete at all with the wheel of time it's a good story it's a great story but the wheel of time will suck you in and devour your life. And people out there have gone back multiple times to that well. Because it's that good. So yeah, HBO, if, if the thing is if HBO, like, you know, they're going to lose out. They got Game of Thrones right now. But once Lord of the Rings and this hit Amazon, Amazon's going to be pretty lit. And don't worry, I'll be reviewing all of it. Hey, thanks for checking out this clip from Three Buck Theater. If you want to get the full audio version of the episode, you can find it anywhere podcasts are found. If you want to watch the video version of it, head on over to patreon.com forward slash mundane Matt and take a look at our Three Buck Theater perk, which gets you access to the full show that airs Monday through Friday. It's a video version of it. You get to look at this face, talk about movies and, and everything else on screen. Uh, it's great stuff. It helps out. And I really appreciate the support. Remember to please like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.